This is a research into the story of Iqbal Masih, who was murdered on April 15, 1995. Iqbal was a boy who was supposedly sold to the carpet makers at the age of four for a sum equal to four US dollars and later rescued by an organization called Bonded Labor Liberation Front. Here, in this clip, we have tried to give an opportunity to the family of Iqbal to speak out the truth and the actual facts which only they can prove. This is in contrast to what has been told all over the world by the West and what the West sees it. Iqbal was born in Pakistan when he was four years of age. The family sold Iqbal into the rug carpet business for the equivalent of 12 United States dollars. This is a small clip of how the West sees the whole story about Iqbal Masih and the actual story is what we found out and you are about to see. Any death, especially of a young person, is very sad and unfortunate. But the West was informed that a 12-year-old boy had been killed by the carpet mafia. And that was not true. There was a 19-year-old boy called Iqbal Masih who was killed in a personal dispute that had nothing to do with the carpet or any other industrial concern in Pakistan. Many different versions on the life of Iqbal Masih can be found on the internet. The boy who stood up against the carpet manufacturers. As the story goes, Iqbal was sold into slavery to the carpet manufacturers by his parents at the age of four. There he was mistreated by them and he was eventually killed on 16th April 1995. But it seems nobody has gone in and tried to find out the true facts, the real story is what we are going to try and find out. This is the place where the family of Iqbal Masih lives right now. His mother and two brothers live here. His mother says that first of all, Iqbal was not a child. He joined the carpet factory where his older brother Patras was already working when he was around 13 years of age and not four as is told all over the internet. He was short in size, so Esanullah, who was running the Bonded Labor Liberation Front, saw him as a good opportunity to use him to make a lot of fame and fortune. बच्चे बहुत According to his mother, Iqbal started getting a lot of fame internationally and even funds were beginning to come to his name. This made Asanullah envious and that was the reason that he had him killed. Till today, they are living in these poor conditions and have not got any money as was promised to them. Till today, there is no Iqbal College or university or any school for which the funds were granted. His brother Patras also says that Iqbal was a very bright child 
and he was around 13 years old when he joined the carpet factory with him. पहले तो स्कूल गया वो ऐसे क्लीन तक गया वो तकरीबन उम्र 13 साल सी 14 साल मतलब के ऐसे कोई मेरी बालना ने बेचा नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं कुछ भी था ऐसा नूला खाने में तो बहुत बड़ा चूत मार रहा है कि मतलब जो छोटा या बच्चा ही वो देखा है फिर तो वह डम मकसद एक है कि दफ्तर जल जा के एन उन्हों मतलब संगल मार के सब कुछ जोड़ के थे न क्या या क्लीनर को मचलाया ऐसा नूला जोड़ के बने ऐसे इन्हें जब तो फोन की था उसे दफ्तर में मैं उधर नुकेया कि तू मेरे सामने थे यार जेठ जूठ मार रखा था नहीं मार रहा अगर साढ़े बच्चा है सी साढ़े को नहीं केस चुके गए चुप कर गए तू कौन है मतलब चूर सच मार के तो मतलब पाकिस्तान में बदनाम करना है इन्हें पाकिस्तान में ऐसी बदनामी की थी According to the owner of the carpet factory, Mr. Arshad, where Iqbal used to work, let us see what his views are on the whole story. मेरी नजर जो सानुला खां जड़ा ने जिन्हें ना दे बच्चे रू खड़े आती ना, उन्हें अपने फायदे वास्ते अपना काम करने वास्ते काम करवाया। इन उन्हें पूछो भी मेरे को काम कर दे, कोई ना ना जाए थी, किसे अंबर दियो ऐसे मेरे उन्हें दस्ते, ताकि उन मुंह दोते खो इस वजह तो फिर साढ़े कारोबार जड़े ने सारे कबाब हो गए ना उस तो बाद साढ़े के काम की था साढ़े कारोबार भी खत्म हो गया जड़ी खड़ियाँ गली इन वो सब खत्म हो गया सारा उस तो बाद साढ़े सामने साड़ी आ गया According to Mr. Arshad, Iqbal joined his factory when he was around 14 years of age and not four years. He said that how can a four-year-old child work? He said he had very good relations with the family of Iqbal Masi and they used to exchange gifts on different festivals like Eid or Christmas. Arshad says that Esanullah was a very clever person who used to manipulate people for his own personal gains. He said that he demanded money from the carpet industry or threatened to break it down and that is exactly what he did. Today, Arshad has lost everything and is now a vegetable vendor living just hand to mouth. He says that it was Esanullah who had Iqbal killed and it is he who is still enjoying his life by cashing in on the death of Iqbal. We met the uncle of Iqbal Masi, who also has the same genetic growth problem like Iqbal and is also the same height as Iqbal. <laughs> इंतजार फिराता पाकिस्तान के बाहर देखो आज दे वे जो फायदा ऐसा अनुला जिन्हें एक काम करवाया सोच के तो ड्रामा ऐ ऐ तेलजाम चूटा कार पैटर्न कातल फड़े हैं कातल लोग बरी करवा रहे हैं तेलजाम तक के नल कार पैटर्न आने के सूट रहे इट इस अ मैटर ऑफ ग्रेट कंसर्न if we see the whole situation in the light of the true facts. Iqbal Masih, who was shown as a child, was used and later killed. His family still living in a one-room house in very poor conditions. The factory owner, where Iqbal was supposed to have been mistreated, has lost everything and is also living in very poor conditions. The whole of the nation of Pakistan got defamed. The business of the carpet industry was destroyed. But only one person has benefited from all of this. Asanullah Khan, the man behind it all, who is still living abroad Pakistan, who is still having Iqbal Day celebrated and probably getting a lot of funds and worldwide sympathies on a story which is totally false and fabricated. These are the true facts that we have found and have shown before you. Let us not judge before we know the true facts and let us try not to honor those who fool us with lies and false stories.